Tonight, a grieving mother is given some peace of mind after arrests are made in a hit and run case. Suzanne Nichols's 14 year old son was the victim of a hit and run. And until today, she was dealing with not knowing who was behind the wheel. Ricky Gomez was hit near Cataldo in Florida, which is where KXY 4's Autumn Wells is tonight. In Autumn, police arrested two people they believe were involved. Good evening, Dave. Spokane Valley Police arrested 26-year-old Miles Horn at his home today. He is charged with fatality hit-and-run collision. Meanwhile, Horn's girlfriend, 26-year-old Miranda Dumars, was also taken into custody today at her work and is charged with second-degree rendering criminal assistance. Now, she is the owner of the red Jeep that hit Gomez. They have both been booked into the Spokane County Jail for their alleged parts in the November 24th accident that took the young boy's life. Police watched a surveillance tape from a nearby convenience store that showed Horn drive that red Jeep into the parking lot. He then got out and looked at the front end of the vehicle and that video is what led police to Horn and Dumars. It was also the answer to the victim's mother's prayer. We spoke with Suzanne Nichols last week when police found the Jeep that it leads to the apprehension of the person who killed my child. Mm -hmm. That there's some closure for myself, my children, for his best friend who watched it happen. Nichols also said during that interview that she couldn't understand how the person d who did this could sleep at night. Well, tonight, the two people believed to be responsible for her son's death are sleeping behind bars. Reporting live in Spokane Valley, Autumn Wells, KXLY4.